so this uh, down part is actually very beautiful and you can use organza or organdi to make this tie it can be on a skirt it can also be on a gown okay so whichever way you want it just follow this tutorial till the end of this tutorial and please don't forget to like this video so it goes viral thank you and this stay tuned it's actually gorgeous beautiful you can see the pony i'm trying to to zoom my camera for you to see how it looks like okay so that is it and that is how to go about it so for the back i would like to show you how the back looks like so you can make it longer you can just make it within the floor length okay you can also add more steps to it here i the skirt that we've made we are going to mark it mark out the part that we are going to attach the organdi so i'm going to attach it on the hip so i'll take the measurement of my hip my hip here is nine inches so i'll mark nine inches for the first one after 9 inches, I'm going to mark 5 inches. That is for the second one. Okay. So that is 2 will be on this side and 2 will be on this side. I lost my video clip, but I'm going to explain to you how I got these calculations for the organza uh, design. So now, the first one, we are going to have 4 layers on this front piece and four at the back so i'm going to place my tape on the waistline and i'm going to take my hip measurement that is where the first organza will start from that point i'm going to measure five inches that is the mark i have here so for this side i have two and on this side i have two so i'll just go ahead place my tape on the nine inches which is the first length and i'm going to take the measurement of what I have to the hem of the skirt, which is 34. So I added 10 inches to it. That is how I got 44. So because we are going to fold the organza this way, multiply by 2, which is 88. Then coming over to the 5 inches line, this is it. I also placed my tape here and I measured to the hem of the skirt and I have 29. 29 i added 10 inches that is 39 multiplied by 2 will give us 78 so for the third one the third one is going to be on this side on this side of the skirt so here i just want it to start from the skirt knee line so from the skirt knee line i'm going to also measure four inches that is for the second one so from that knee line, I'm taking the measurement to the hem of the skirt. So here I have 24. I'll add 10 inches. So I'll add 10 inches to the measurement I got now. Okay. I got from that point, I got 24 plus 10 inches will give us 34. Multiply by 2, we'll have 68. That is for the third one. Then for the fourth one, the fourth line, I'm going to take the measurement from these 4 inches I came down to the hem. I have 20 plus 10 inches. That is 30 times 2. So that will give us 60. So just go ahead and add another 10 inches because we are folding it. So 88 plus 10 78 plus 10, 68 plus 10, 60 plus 10. So that will be the length of the organ Z organdi I'm going to cut out. So for the width of the organdi, we are going to make use of the width of 30 inches. So the width is going to be 30 inches for each of them. So the first one, I'm going to cut my organdi at 30 by 98 88 plus 10 is 98 so let me cut it i'll cut out the first length at 8 uh, 98 inches i added 10 inches so 
this length i have two of them the length are in fact i made it 100 100 by length then the width is at 30 inches width is at 30 inches so i have this length for front and for back whatever we are doing for the front we'll also do it for the back so i'll set this aside and show you how to go about the sewing so for the sewing the first thing you do is the length of uh, that length of um, 100 from here just place it into two equal folds so once you place it into two equal folds you are going to have 50 inches at length you are going to have 50 inches so i can just go ahead and we take the measurements of 50 I have to spread it open once again after I've gotten the midline after folding it into two equal folds I'm going to mark from the midline 15 15 inches so in other words I have a length of 30 inches to sew so I'm just going to create the casing for the boning right now I'll go back to the machine I'll just pinch it at 0 0.25 of course you know how to go about the structure uh, pinching so i'll just mark at intervals one one inch one one inch one one inch intervals and go ahead and pinch till i get to the end of the organza so i've pinched as you can see i later used organza organza sorry because the organza was a little bit stiff so here i'm going to insert my bone please don't forget to use your lighter for the tip of the boning so you don't have obstruction while inserting it so i just use my lighter to burn the nylon part of this okay so the boning i'm using here is a nylon boning as you can see so um i've made the channels for the first layer and i'm going to repeat the same process for the second layer too so you just take the measurements accordingly wherever you want to fix this boning just take their measurement of course we have calculated them all you need to do is go by their lengths and cut them accordingly so i'm repeating the same process i repeated and make sure you weave the edges you can see i weave the edges of this and i'm also going to turn it again get the midpoint take my measurements accordingly i'm taking 15 15 inches length to pinch and the spacing is one one inch so i'm just going to take it again 15 inches length that's where i'm going to stop my stitches of the uh, casing and i'm going to mark out one one inch accordingly so I'm just repeating it again for emphasis. One one inch, one one inch, one one inch like that till I get to the end of 30 inches width. Remember that the, the width is 30 inches and the length is according to our calculation. So I'll just come in with my ruler right now and I'm going to rule my line. So if you want to make it to two inches spacing you can also make it to two inches i just realized two, two inches will be better one one inch will be so close and it will make you to have so much boning so instead of having so much uh, boning i prefer to have less boning so since the width is 30 inches two two inches will give us about 15 boning whose which length is at 15 inches or it can be shorter than 15 inches it all depends anyway of course these uh, structured dresses can take a lot of bones okay so i used a lot of bone boning for this channel so just go ahead and do what mark your lines as you can see and then go ahead and pin pinch them so the boning is nylon boning it has different diameters we have the smaller and the bigger one so here i counted up to 15 or 16 inches i mean number boning so i'll go over to the machine and also pinch again 
for this one so after i'm done pinching um the channel the channels has to be the size of the boning can you see so i have it again for the other line so this is what i'll keep repeating for the rest of the boning so i've cut out the bonings at less than 30 inch i let her made it 20 20 inches okay i let her made it 20 20 inches that means when we insert into each channel we will still have some channels remaining without boning and it's okay so i'm going to insert them like i said before you do please don't forget to to use your lighter to you know taper the tip of the boning because it can actually be rough so that when you are inserting it into the casing it does not take the grains of the organza so here you can see what i have the channels are ready so i just brought them together and i'll bring back the dress and place it on top of it so i've already created my own design okay so i just did a particular design i like i have it for four or five boning lines as you can see and i've already stitched it on the down part so i'm going to show you how i stitched it by taking the measurement of that nine inches we calculated which is the hip line if you want it above the hip line fine and good you can still do that so but for this I, i'm just making it just on the hip line so i got the midline i'm just trying to make sure it's at the center so measure the hip line divide by two what you have also divide by two and get the midpoint so you have to use your discretion to create this so from there just create your curve can you see how i created the curve with my chalk on the dress so you just create the curve then we'll go over to the machine but i could have preferred to sew this while it's spread open without attaching your zipper. So please, before you attach your zipper, ensure you sew this boning. Because I really, it was not actually very easy to sew it when everything is closed. So I'm going to pick four, 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 four of these channels. I'm going to pick them four, four, four like that. I have about 15 of them. So if I pick four, 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 I will have like four different sections so i'll just pick them one after the other and stitch with my zipper foot please to succeed in stitching this you need your zipper foot and you need to also align the boning on the curve of the dress it has to be on the curve that you made so it gives you that curve so if you don't hold on to the curve very well it's going to spread out and if it spreads out it's not going to be fine so you can see how i'm arranging it so i'm going to use my zipper food and sew very close after each four i'll come back and fold another four just follow my lines the way i'm demonstrating it that's what i'm going to do on the machine so here i've done that i went to the machine and stitch after each four i brought another four and stitch with my zipper foot like that so the zipper foot will help you to hold it on while stitching. Then I now stitched the rest of it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out the excess bonings that might be coming out. Of course, if you see, there are some excess bonings. So I'll just pick them together and hand stitch them. So I'm going to hand stitch wherever the boning ends. I'll just hand stitch and, you know, make some pleating to it and then give it a good press as you can see on the thumbnail and on the videos before this tutorial so this is what i'm going to do to the rest of them the places we took our measurements including the back as well so i've done it to the other side so you have to arrange it the way you you want so i'm just arranging it the way it is on that video playing at the beginning of this tutorial so i also did the same for the back as well so it's not actually very easy but you can make it so i believe you learned a lot from this tutorial if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well please don't forget to subscribe to this channel 
and we upload video every day on this channel as well we also have our upgrade online classes you can join us our list placement class is ongoing right now on telegram so you can click on the link below on the description box below to join the whatsapp to see the luxury bidding class going on right away so thank you once again and see you in the next class Bye.